there YouTube and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros and I'm a Whovian and today I'm reviewing something a little different this week. I'm reviewing Doctor Who and the Daleks. So this is a movie adaption of the first ever Daleks serial, The Daleks, only this time it's in colour and it stars Peter Cushing as Doctor Who, and he's a human. And the TARDIS is his latest invention, which is just disguised as a blue police box. So, the Doctor with his granddaughter Susan and Barbara, and Barbara's um, apparent boyfriend Ian uh, step on board this time machine and find themselves on another planet which is well a dead radiator planet that is Scaro and they find a city down there and they also find uh, you know it's home to the Daleks and of course we see other alien life forms on Scaro which are the Fowls and Eventually, the Doctor, uh, Susan, Barbara, and Ian end up helping the Thals defeat the Daleks, as they are, well, bad. So, that is pretty much the whole plot to it. So, what did I like? Well, this was probably, at the time, back in 1965, the first ever time the Daleks were in colour. So, I imagine the Technicolor must have been amazing. Now that I feel that the set and the scenery was all improved a lot, and it had... A better quality of cinematography probably because this was a movie adaption they had a bigger budget um, but this I feel you no know, this isn't canon it's not a canon film it's um, you know like I just said basically a, a rehash of the first ever Dalek serial the Daleks from 1963 so Basically, if you've seen the first ever Dalek serial, the Daleks, you'll know pretty much well how this one plays out. Of course, they do make some alterations and changes here and there, such as the main cast, like Peter Cushing playing the Doctor. People say that he counts and that he why is he not canon? Well, this whole story came out a year before the regeneration thing was even a thing, so. Basically, he's just meant to be playing William Hartnell again, just a more, well, human version of him. And also, Susan in this is a lot younger. She's not a teenage girl. She's like a little kid in it. And Ian and Barbara aren't her teachers. They're, you know, like, I'm thinking is Barbara meant to be like her cousin or something? And Ian is Barbara's boyfriend. So th that's another thing they change as well to this. But the format and the story is pretty much, very much the same and similar. It had some good practical effects. Um, I don't recall it being digitalized much. Uh, of course, there is a bit at the very end when they go back home and they end up in the Roman times. You can clearly tell that's a projector screen where we see Romans. <laughs> so those are like poorly done effects there. Uh, but is, is this a... Um, a good film yeah it's an alright film but it's like I say kind of a, a rehash a retelling of um, the original Daleks story so yeah uh, I'm gonna now shut up and get to my ratings so the performances I'll give them a 9 the visuals I'll give them an 8 and the uh, writing I'll give that a seven i mean well yeah i mean this was already based on terry nation's script they just had some rewrites here and there and my personal i'll give it a an eight because it's, it's all right if you don't think of it canon with doctor who you just think of it as a movie solely for the daleks because they're like meant to be the main feature in this so there you have it there is my who review on doctor who and the daleks have you seen this one let me know down in the comments below if you have and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i have been davros the whovian and this has been a who review 
on Doctor Who and the Daleks, the film version. So until next time, Red for your life.